my video blog, Chasing Bats at Congre. In this episode, I'm going to show you some of the cool tools we have. Okay, I'm not running around the woods all week long listening to music on this thing. More often than not, I'm listening to static all day long. But every now and then, I hear beeping. Listen. Hear that? That's one of our girls that are in this tree. So it's a little bit ambiguous when I tell people that I'm listening to for bats with this antenna and the receiver. Instead, what I'm listening for are these little tiny transmitters. So once a week, we'll net for bats, and usually two of the heavier ones will affix one of these transmitters to them. We'll give them a little bit of a haircut, and with some surgical glue, we'll apply this transmitter to the skin, and it'll send out a signal wherever they go. Earlier in the week, we netted at tree 39 here, and interestingly enough, she took off who knows where, and she decided to come back here. She's been here for a few days now. So once we find one of our transmitted bats, like this one in tree 39, we'll go ahead and set up one of these low techs. So what this system entails is a receiver, an external power source, and an antenna. So what this actually does is this allow us to monitor that bat passively without us even being here. So this will tell us when she's coming and going, and it'll also tell her what tell us what temperature she is because our transmitters not only tell us where she's at, how far away she is, but they also tell us what temperature she is. So I'll go ahead and turn on the low tech device. I just swapped out the battery here today. And what I'm hoping for is tag validation. And what that's going to tell me is that the low tech's picking up our signal and we're ready to go. Okay, I showed you what we could do with the transmitters. But with this device, we could actually listen for bats. This is an Anabat Express, and what it will do is actually record the high pitched signals that bats make. They use those high-pitched signals to navigate, to find food, perhaps even communicate with one another. So once a week, we'll take the cards back that, uh, that the Anabat Express recorded onto. We'll hook that up to a laptop, and with a program, we'll be able to see those signals. The signals kind of look like, in my opinion, backwards J's. Uh, some people said hockey sticks, perhaps. But it's definitely indicative of a bat signal. Now... With those signals, we could analyze them. Of course, we'll be able to tell presence or absence of bats in the area, but sometimes we'll actually be able to tell what species are flying about. I hope you enjoyed checking out some of those cool tools that I get to use on a weekly basis. Holidays are fast approaching, and I'm on my way back to Pennsylvania to see some family and friends. Happy holidays, and of course, thanks for watching.